So, with the release of Dark Souls 3, I thought I'd give Dark Souls 1 another try. I mean, I just completed Resident Evil 4 on Professional, and I thought, hey, I've only heard Dark Souls been called, you know, basically just like Resident Evil about five quintillion times. Maybe I missed something. I'm a much more mature gamer now. I've studied the game. I beat Resi 4 on Professional, so I know I can handle some difficulty. Yeah, I can totally handle this now. <laughs> I'm so bored. Okay, guys, see, here's the problem. Dark Souls isn't fun to me, at all. And it's not the difficulty. I mean, 100%ing the Mega Man X series is what I used to do to unwind. Not like a great gamer, but I'm persistent at learning what it is I set my mind to, so I know I can handle a rough spot or two. Here's the issue. Dark Souls isn't difficult. It's a grind fest. Worse than that, it's a grind fest that you often end up losing the very thing you're grinding for. I'm getting ahead of myself. Let me explain. Put simply, Resident Evil, specifically, I'm going to talk about Resident Evil 4, does what Dark Souls attempts to do, but so much better. From what I've been told by people that enjoy it, Dark Souls is about slow exploration, trial and error, and learning from your mistakes and then overcoming them. Which sounds great, in theory. <laughs> Except for the whole Souls mechanic. Adding an RPG level grinding system to this game is what ruins it, because suddenly it's not about skill, it's about how long you've whacked the same three dudes over and over and over again. And I can hear what you're saying now, that if you're really good you can rush through the game and you don't need to grind at all, and yeah, you're 100% right, but you have to be really good at the game to play that way. Meaning that until you've completely mastered the combat and all the systems and memorized the level design, the only way to play the game is grinding. People joke about get good, but if you don't, the game is a slow, methodical slog. And I get what we're going for here. You start out slow and scared, but as you grind your way through the world, you become stronger and faster and unstoppable. After you pour hours and hours and hours of your life and obsess over it, you finally reach a point where you are the master. And that's fine, I guess, but there's a major flaw in that. It does exclude anyone who's not already a master. I'm going to bring this back to Resident Evil 4. I've beaten the game three or four times at this point, and the first playthrough or two was an actual horror game. I went slow and got the crap kicked out of me, uncertain what was next or how to even survive, but I managed. I made slow progress because when I died, I didn't lose anything but a few minutes of gameplay. It just gave me a chance to try a new tactic and go at it again. I didn't have to start the whole chapter over repeating the parts I already mastered. It let you come back to it and just do it. I didn't have to kill 800 Ganados first to gain enough souls to try again. And for those who are complaining it's too easy, the same really applies to Resident Evil 1, which allows for a lot of similarities. The first time, it's utter horror. It's the most tense game I've ever played in my life, and you can only save when you find Ink Ribbons, meaning that you can lose a lot of time. You have to ration them out and decide when it's best to save, and it's utterly nerve-wracking. It's infinitely more tense than the souls recovery mechanic could ever be. My overall point is, after beating the game, any of those games, I got better. It was fun and I decided to go back through a third time. I found more secrets than ever before, and I went back a fourth time on Professional. And I was legitimately using speedrunning tricks and abusing glitches, it was amazing. Despite the intense difficulty, I had mastered the game so thoroughly that it had become easy to me. Which I guess brings me to the point of it all. Dark Souls requires you put in hours of grinding and boring nothing work to artificially end up giving you a sense of achievement. So when the little numbers go up, and you've done the same action five bajillion times, you feel like you've done something special. Resident Evil is just fun. It scares you and challenges you on your first run, giving you enough time and wiggle room to learn. And if you're fast enough, any of those games can be beaten in less than three hours. Most of the length of a first playthrough is running around lost, so when you die, even if you lose two hours of work, you can usually get it back in about 30 minutes. And after beating its challenges, it offers you the chance to do it again. Faster, with little extras like fun weapons or quirky costumes. Where Dark Souls requires you to grind and grind away for it to ever become fun, Resident Evil is fun from the get-go and raises the challenge as you go along so you don't grow bored. You go from scared horror game to fast-paced arcade-style shooter, gaining every bit the sense of achievement that you get from Dark Souls without any of the tedium.